Hello and welcome to iTuber, an expert channel where we talk about the latest news and trends in the crypto world, ICO development, and blockchain industry. Today, our guest is Real ICO, and that the speaker is the co-founder and the CEO of the project, uh, Enrique Dubois. Hello, Enrique. Hi, everyone. Nice to talk to you. Awesome. Thank you very much for, find, for finding time to talk to us today. So uh, please tell us briefly about the project and the main idea behind it. Thank you. So the project wants to revolutionize the way real estate investments are done. And it comes originally from the fact that real estate investments are very interesting and are very stable and are growing normally, but then they lack of liquidity. Uh, when you need to make your investment liquid, you need to wait until you sell the property, and that is a problem. And there is another, another problem to that, and it is that real estate investments normally require a lot of money. So that is why uh, we came up with the idea of real estate crowdfunding and tokenization of the properties. All right. So tell us about the role of the blockchain in the project. We are using blockchain in two... Uh, important phases of it. Uh, first of all, we are using smart contracts to define all the transactions and how uh, the protocol works in the platform. So we are adding a smart contract uh, to every property. Uh, in this smart contract, there is all the documentation, all the audit, the independent appraisal, all the deed and everything recorded in the, on the blockchain and also all the costs, transactions, rental income, etc., etc. So everything is recorded in the blockchain. Second of all, we are tokenizing the properties and making them liquid so any user can trade parts of the property to other users without the need of uh, the house to be sold in the market. And finally, we are also using blockchain uh, in the te in the way of payment methods because we are uh, allowing people to invest with cryptocurrency not um, without having to send money to the bank and which would be very difficult in, in in a global marketplace like ours okay so you said tokenizing what do you mean by that and uh, just explain the role the utility of the tokens in the project then Yes, um, so we have uh, the real token. Real token is going to be used as a, uh, as a payment method to enter into the crowdfunding platform. And then we have internal tokens that we call them re real participatory platform. Uh, and and they, they are parts of the property. Let me explain it more clearly. For example, a house uh, might be worth uh, $1 million. So what we do is we divide it in 1 million RPP tokens. And we then allow our users to purchase these tokens so they can purchase, um, the let's say, uh, with, with five tokens, they can purchase, let's say, 5% uh, of, of that property and not having to, to pay this $1 million that would be normally available. Okay, so what is the market cap then? What numbers are we talking about here? We have a soft cap, which is 100,000 ethers, which is about $30 million at the moment. And then we have a hard cap, security cap, in case this soft cap is reached during the first six hours, that would go to double of it. So that would be 200,000 ethers, 60 million. Okay, so this is about the ICO. Uh, tell us about the token market, the potential growth. How big is going to be the project once yes. it's launched? <clears throat> yes, so so we are going to sell 51% uh, of the tokens in the token sale. So uh, then the market cap is going to be double from what we sell in the in the ICO. So if we sell the soft cap, which is 100,000 ethers, then the market cap will be 200,000 uh, ethers. All right, let's go back to the token part. So let's say I have 500 tokens. Mm -hmm. And there is a house somewhere in London, and I want mm -hmm. a part of it. That, do you mean that I can buy a part of a house in London with my 500 tokens? Yes, that's correct. This is what we are doing. We, we are building a global um, liquid real estate platform where any user from any part of the world will be able to acquire a part of, of a property in any part of the world as well. But uh, this is 
in, initially we are focusing in the investment part. So the purpose of this uh, purchase will be just uh, gaining the rental income or the value appreciation of it. It is not thought for the moment um, in the way that you could use the house for living. All right. So let's say I have a house here in Oslo mm -hmm. and I want, why would I want to use it, to give it and use it in your, in your platform rather than selling it or renting it in a conventional way? How are you going to incentivize me? Well, um, we are going to pay the property owners. So it is, it is, it is going to be like we buy the property from them. And, uh, and the main profit, it is more for the buyers than for the sellers. So the buyers are going to be able to purchase um, uh, part of the house from any part of the world and with their cryptocurrencies. Okay, that sounds awesome. I like the idea. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So then, tell us about the team who stands behind this great idea. So we we are a team of experienced entrepreneurs from Spain. Um, my team have been doing uh, different startups together with myself for the last fifteen years. Uh, we can see some of them behind me. Uh, we've done social networks, we've done online gambling uh, sites, and we've done travel industry, uh, e-commerce, etc., etc., for the last 15 years. And my partner and co-founder is Bernardo Hernandez. Bernardo used to be the director of Google Spain, <clears throat> and he was, um, he was promoted to Google Director for Marketing Services in Silicon Valley. Then he, he, he led the, 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 purchase, the Google purchase of Sagat, a company, and he was the CEO there. And then he, he lately uh, was the CEO of Flickr, this images um, Yahoo app that we all know. Uh, so he's, he's an industry veteran. He also co-founded in Spain Idealista.com, which is the biggest real estate portal, which was sold last year for 200 million euros. So he has uh, very good connections and experience, and together we, we think we make a great team. Mm -hmm. That's very impressive. Uh, what about the advisors, who they are? Yes, we have uh, a different set of advisors. The most important for us are the real estate advisors, of course. Uh, one, is, one of them is Arnau, which he, he's a Stanford MBA, um, very talented individual, having worked in hedge funds, in real estate, uh, private equity as well. He is now living in Silicon Valley and, and, and his family has a hotel company in the Balearic Islands in Spain. So we, we plan to work together because the return on investment that they are getting is very high. Mm -hmm. The second very important advisor is Gregorio Martin. He's working in, uh, in, the, in, a, in a bank, uh, taking care of all real estate investments and transactions. So together with his vision, we can spot the best uh, investment opportunities in Spain. And this is where we'll initially start in Spain, although, as I said in the beginning, we want to become a global platform and we, we would go global as soon as 2018. Mm -hmm. So um, the next question. In August, uh, there are so many ICOs going on now, and there are several of them uh, who are actually based on the real estate market. So how are you different from them? Yes, we believe the real estate market is huge, of course. Uh, it is a trillion dollar market. And there is a space for many blockchain real estate companies. We've seen some of them and we like most of them. Uh, some of them are focusing in listing services like, like agencies. Some of them want to solve the problem of peer-to-peer -peer purchase of your house and finally we are focusing in, in, in the investment part to make uh, revenue and income and, and profits so I think there will be space for many and we are happy to collaborate with them as well mm -hmm. so uh, what are the main challenges you have now and what are the main like possible challenges you might face once the platform launches yes um, the main challenge is gonna be regulatory because we have, we, we have a great internal lawyer, uh, an American lawyer, very experienced in, the, in crypto space, but um, we, will, we will have to get the proper licensing, li licensing in the market that we will operate. 
Um, there will be more favorable markets than others, more easier markets than others to target. Uh, but that, that's going to be the main challenge, although we, ha we, we already have a plan to go forward and we, we plan to imitate how the fonts work. So we will create a, a special purpose vehicle and buy the, the houses uh, from our company and then allocate the profits and dividends to our users internally uh, using the smart co contracts for that. But that, that's definitely the main challenge. The other challenges uh, are more operational, but we have a lot of experience, so we think uh, we, will, we will overcome those. Okay, so you said uh, sharing the dividends among the users. Are you saying that the token holder will get dividends from the profit? The token holder will be able to use the tokens in our crowdfunding platform, and all our crowdfunding platform users will receive uh, dividends, yes, from the properties, and that is the main purpose of the, of them acquiring the properties on, mm -hmm. on the, in the first place. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, tell us about the roadmap then. Yes, uh, so we started the project la uh, ending of the la last year, um, and we we didn't know about the ICOs thing as well. It, uh, we 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 first uh, uh, knew it in in March. When, when it all started to grow. So what we, we, we were developing our platform, <clears throat> but we, we stopped it, of course, because we, we decided it was a very good opportunity to do an ICO. And uh, so every, all the team focused on the ICO, and this is what we are doing now. But uh, we, we have learned that it is, it is very important to show the users, the potential contributors, that we have technology already in place, and we are working nonstop uh, 24 hours also this weekend to be able to record a video of the platform on on maybe on next monday next tuesday um prior to the ico so this is this is um this is where we are now we we plan to have a beta version in october and go live in as soon as november so you say you say beta version in november in october uh, in october sorry yes so does that mean that there is an alpha version right now, or you you are working yeah. on? Yes, we have the back office and the smart contracts part. We were working already on it for four months prior to us knowing the, the ICO thing, and uh, and now we are we are patching everything together so we can show something next Monday. But but once the ICO is finished, then it, we will be very fast to market, and that's why I say in October we will have the beta version. Okay, so I'll come back to ICO part. Uh, just another question here, really to chip in. Um, tell me, please, um, what are you going to be doing once the ICO is over and the project launches? Mm -hmm. So there is this time period. What, what, what exactly are you going to be doing? Well, uh, <clears throat> we will further um, work into our legal and operations structure. Um, uh, we, we will probably need to get a license in Singapore where, where the company is based and uh, we, we, we will be doing this type of work uh, while the platform uh, gets finished as well from the development team. So that will take us, I would say, uh, one to three months uh, and hopefully that will, that will allow us to go live in November. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, so then let's go to the ICO part. But before, the pre-sale ended today and very successful, right? Tell us about it. Yes, we decided to, to, to run a pre-sale white listing uh, uh, process and we sent for, for contributors with over 100 ethers. And it was very successful. We, we sent it yesterday, last night, before going to sleep. And this morning, we, we've woken up with... Uh, with, I think it is close to $12 million. It is uh, 25, oh no, a little bit, a little bit less, sorry. 25,000 ethers, but, uh, but it is uh, um, close, to, close to $8 million, I think. Uh, so, so many people couldn't participate, especially all the Europeans and all the Western Europe, uh, because of the time zone, they didn't have the time, so, because we were sleeping, <laughs> so, so, all the, all the, it was very successful among the Asians and some South American, I think. Okay, so they are the luckiest ones then. 
Yes, but that will that will that, that's very good news because that that means that the ICO will probably be a very a successful story as well. Yes, I can feel that too. So <laughs> tell us about the ICO itself. Then it's gonna uh, it's gonna start soon, right? Tell us how many tokens there will be, and what are the planet prices. So we will we will initially release uh, twenty five million tokens. Um, priced at 220, um, so one ether will will uh, will give a one 220 real tokens, which makes it approximately what I said uh, about the soft cap, 100,000 ethers, uh, approximately 30 million, and um, and that will be on the 31st of August. So it's only one week left. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first stage going to be 120 ethers. Is there going to be a next stage, or that's the hard cap? Um, so, so the the hundred thousand uh, ethers is the soft cap, and what happens is that if the soft cap is sold during the first six hours, um, we will enable a hard cap to to double the amount, and that is two hundred thousand ethers, which makes it uh, sixty million dollars. All right. Hmm. Interesting. So. Is there going to be an, an, a, an additional release of tokens or what's going to happen to the ones that are not sold out? Maybe there won't, there won't be any, but in case. Well, uh, so the 51% the of tokens, which are um, meant to be minted for the crowd sale, um, those who are not, which are not sold, they will be burned or, well, they will not be minted on, in the, on the first place. And then there will be uh, an additional 49% of tokens. From there, 20% of tokens is for the team, um, which uh, Vesting and Cliff, uh, so they will be locked for two years. And then there is a 29% of reserve, company reserve tokens. This reserve will be used, uh, it's also locked up to a year, and, and will be used for further growth, perhaps selling more tokens or doing another ICO in the future. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Do you have any agreements with exchange markets? Yes, we signed an agreement with Gatecoin, which is huge in Asia. And uh, we are talking, we were talking yesterday with Bitrex, which is very popular as well, and Liqui. And we are confident we, we will be listed in maybe four or five exchanges. We have appointed a market making company called GSR as partners and they do market making for exchanges so they will not only help us get in, in the best exchanges but also keep the token value growing as we all want all right so once a person invests uh, buys the tokens when is he gonna get the tokens immediately or after several days yes uh, he or she will get the token immediately uh, but it won't be transferable until one week post ico okay Perfect. Awesome. Um, Enrique, now you have time, about 30 or 45 seconds, to address our audience directly. Okay. okay, I want to thank the opportunity of talking about our token sale. Uh, we, we have a very ambitious project. We are building a, what we believe it will be a billion dollar uh, real estate liquid platform. And we are very excited to take a profit from the blockchain technologies and the cryptocurrencies, which I think it, um, it, it unites uh, the world together and doesn't make it, and avoid the different problems that different regulations and banks have. So we're very happy to invite you all to the token sale and looking forward um, to, to a successful token sale. Okay, thank you, Enrique. Thank and you. thank you, thank you for the interview. I wish thank you the best of luck, and we believe that it's going to be a big success. Thank you. Yes. Uh, the audience, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please like, write your comments in the in the what comment section below the video, and we'll get back to you with the answers. Subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out the latest news and this kind of cool interviews. And see you next time.